Alright y'all, this is a quick video. I want to fix your uh, gateway ZX, was it? It's the ZX4300 model. Alright. This is for the uh, black screen. Whenever you turn it on, nothing comes on the screen at all. This one a few hours ago had the same exact issue, and now it's running. This is the only way I've been able to get a screen back running after it's bad. I've had a lot of people say that, you know, it's just the motherboard's fried. You're not going to be able to fix it. There hasn't been a fix. I haven't been able to find one on the internet. So, hopefully this fixes it for you guys. The first thing you're going to want to do is disassemble it. As you can see, you got three major pieces right here. You got this, the back plate. That's going to be the first thing that's going to come off. Then you're going to take these off. As you can see, obviously, it requires some disassembly. Alright. After you get that small black piece off, the big back piece that goes over the back. It's got four screws on it on each corner. You're going to want to screw them all. It's going to be tightly against this side. You're going to need a credit card or something. And just slide it along the edge here. And it should pop all the little clips off all the way around the side. Alright, after you get the black piece off, which is... We don't need that. That's for a different computer. That piece. After we get that off, you're going to want to take this off. You're going to have to unplug a lot of the little stuff plugged into the motherboard. You're going to have to unscrew that and take that off. And then you should be left with what you see here. Alright, when you're left with what you see here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the fan off right there. You're going to want to take this heat sink off. Alright, I want you to take all that off. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug it in. Power outlet's right there. Right next to all your USBs and stuff. Okay. You're going to want to turn it on. For about 10 minutes. Like I said, you're going to want to take that off. There's six bolts holding it and screws holding that on. This will overheat it. What you're going to do is you're going to be overheating your GPU. Now, I know some people might be sitting there thinking this sounds a lot like an Xbox fix with the red ring. It is a lot like that. Besides, you're not stopping the fan, you're taking the heat sink off, and you're allowing the GPU to overheat. Look at it this way. The screen's not turning on. What do you got to lose right now? Like I said, this fixed mine. All right, after you have it on for 10 minutes, you're going to want to, I mean, have it off for, yeah, no, have the computer on for 10 minutes. Sorry, it's an off day. You're going to want to unplug it again. After you turn it off, you're going to want to put the heat sink back on. Then you're going to want to come over around to the other side, hold the power button in for 15 seconds without it plugged in. All right? After you hold it in for 15 seconds, make sure everything's back in place, the fan and the heat sink. And you're going to want to plug it back in. After you plug it back in, you're going to want to go around to the other side and turn it back on. And hopefully... It'll do a few things, and you'll hear a beep, and the screen should come on. That's what happened to me a few hours ago. And the screen's been running ever since. Turned it off a couple times, played a couple YouTube videos. GPU seems to be working fine. Hope this works for y'all. Any questions, give me a reply back.